Aaron, this is Florida. Nothing strange here. The house was beautiful. It was 4,000 square feet. It had a pool, a garage apartment. It was a great house. The only problem was upstairs. Some of the rooms were too small and just the functionality did not work for some families. I could understand why they'd want to renovate it. When did you first meet Shanti and David? Dave just called me on the phone and asked if I'd come by and take a look at the project. He said that they had done some work. I wasn't at all prepared for what I saw when I got there. They had fully disassembled this house to a degree that I'd never seen before. It was rather astonishing. It was largely wide open, like you're inside of a giant shoebox. This house became more than just a project to David Tronis. It was his life. He obsessed on it. This house is the center point to the story and ultimately led to Shanti's demise. This case all started with a call to 911, placed at approximately 3.51 p.m. on April 24th, 2018 by Dave Tronis. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> and David says that he came home and found Shanti floating in the bathtub. Did that story make sense? Absolutely not. Shanti was extensively beaten. It makes me emotional. I feel bad for her family and for her son. It's upsetting that she won't get that life with him. Clearly, Dave Tronis, from the very beginning, is a suspect. Absolutely. Dave was asked to go to the station Thank you. and voluntarily remain there for hours. Just have a seat there. It'll be a little bit. He did not request counsel. He consented to swabs, to clippings, to a search of his person. Dave went into that interview with an agenda. I've never been more in love or so happy. And he just started getting confronted and confronted and confronted. I told you she was murdered, murdered. Someone took her life from her and there's nothing. You can't even fake it. That's how much you could give it. And it became a war of wills in that room. I don't have any explanation for her, the severity of her injuries. And didn't David win that war of wills? He was not broken. Well, Dave didn't confess. Are we boring you? It seems pretty clear, these two detectives, they went into this room, decided that David was a murderer and then went the extra mile to try to put a file together to prove such. Did you guys get into an argument? Was she picked about the house? No. Is it possible that without this house, Shanti might still be alive? I think that's completely true. 